Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and it is Friday today and I made an appointment for my first ever brow lamination and lash lift. Apparently you can do it like in the same appointment so I kind of wanted to try it out and just see if it's like worth it. It's definitely not cheap so I'm kind of like hoping that I won't be addicted to it but I just really wanted to try it out and I'm not sure how much I can film but hopefully I can take you guys along with me. I'm about to go in but I wanted to show you guys a before and after before I forgot. So these are my brows. They definitely need some uh, cleaning up. And then this one's a lot more thicker right here. This one doesn't really grow, but my lashes, they're pretty long. I just like really want the lift. So I'm really excited, yay. What do I do? <laughs> you see me here. Tell me it's gonna be okay. Fine. Yeah, really, like, long. I know. I told her that. Where did all this hair come from? Because I didn't even know I had all that hair. Like the lamination looked good, but then <laughs> it went all downhill. Yeah, what they do different? What they do? They put the tint on. Tint. Eyebrow reveal, lash reveal. I don't even look like myself. It's kind of scary, to be honest. They're just like so dark. I wish I just did the lamination and not the tint just because they are so dark and they're like outside of where my real brow is and they're just like really thick. I'm hoping it fades really soon. The lamination was so good, but the tint, uh. I just put on makeup and I couldn't put anything on my eyelashes because I can't really get them wet for 24 hours. So unless I wanted to like put on mascara today and take it off like tomorrow night, which I didn't really want to do. So I don't have any like eye makeup, but I did put on face makeup and the brows look a little bit better. Still kind of scary to be honest, just cause they literally look like marker brows, but I have to shoot this event tonight. So I guess I'm going out like this, but we're gonna take advantage of me not shooting during a sunset for one day and go watch it somewhere. Super rare Scotty Cameron head cover, the red double X. But it's on a Scotty Cameron Go low. Ryan, you should just make your own YouTube channel. Stop hijacking mine. This gets 400 comments on my phone. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> morning and a Saturday. Last night I went to an event that I had to photograph. It was their philanthropy event. They had like an auction and food, drinks and all that. So it was really fun. And luckily I only had to upload just like the unedited photos um, because you know, sorority girls always like to put like their own presets and edits on them. So less work for me. And I've done a couple events with this sorority. So a couple of the girls like recognize me and know me and stuff like that. And one of the girls that has hired me in the past for events, she was like, oh my God, did you get your eyebrows laminated? And this was like kind of towards the end of the night. And I was like, oh shit. Like, I was like, no, don't. Don't, like don't remind me because I literally wasn't thinking about it this whole time and they literally look like sharpie brows and she was like no girl like I've gotten them done and I totally agree the first day is like the worst but they're gonna get better so she gave me hope and I finally put on makeup today I did a little bit in my brows just like a little literally like maybe five hair strokes and obviously the mascara I feel like I wish my lashes were even curled more and it's kind of weird because they're curled so much like they're like this on my eyes. So when I put on my mascara, I had to like literally go in the back to get like the top of the curl, if that makes sense. It was a very odd situation, but I think they look really good. Um, and obviously my lashes will finally stay up and stay curled throughout the day, which I sometimes even like would bring an eyelash curler just to like curl them in the middle of the day just because I love when they're like all the way up. And then my brows don't look horrible today. Definitely look better with makeup. I'm still waiting for the tint to fade because I just, 
am not a fan. I really did like the lamination though. So I think I'm gonna keep getting that, but I wanted to tell you guys, first of all, the price of both. All of it was $215, which was a lot, but I honestly just wanted to try it out. I've been thinking about it for a while, so I was like YOLO. But then I was like thinking about it and I was like, if I like it, like this is gonna be a very bad like addiction because it's a very expensive thing to do. And it just adds to like my pampering budget of the month, like, you know, nails done, hair done, all that kind of stuff, threading. But I guess they tweezed my eyebrows when I uh, got them laminated. Um, but yeah, so it was 215 without tip. And then she said that they would both last like six to eight weeks. She said that my eyebrows would last longer than most people's because my eyebrows just already stick straight up kind of. Um, they're straight hairs and apparently lamination or brow lamination does not work on everyone. And I was signing like the paperwork and where I had to initial it said something like, you cannot hold us accountable if it doesn't work on your brows because you know it may not i was like what the heck like if i'm paying this much money like i'm really hoping it works on my brows for my lashes i just like feel like they're very sparse so yes they're long already but they're just so sparse and i think i showed you guys in the last vlog yeah i bought grande lash on amazon and i'm starting to use it i skipped yesterday night though because you can't really get them wet for like 24 hours so i put on mascara and um brows today because i can wash my face tonight yesterday that's why i didn't really wanted to put on too much eye makeup because i didn't want to like get anything wet and i showered and even this morning i accidentally like kind of like went like that to my face with water and i was like fuck 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 like i literally just dried it so fast i was like shit like i just totally forgot so just a heads up you might want to get this done on like a weekday where you're not seeing anyone so that your like brows can like fade and you don't have to wear makeup or whatever you need to do that is my brow lamination and lash lift experience um overall i think i would try it one more time and if i am like no, it's not for me, then probably never again. Oh, also one more thing, for the brow lamination, they're basically putting chemicals on your brows. Like she was saying something about it smelling like sulfur because it is kind of made with sulfur or something. So think about it like this, like your hair, if you're bleaching your hair and dyeing your hair a bunch of times, like it's going to break and it's gonna get brittle. And same with your eyebrows, if you keep doing this treatment there is like a chance that your eyebrows might get dry and brittle and break i was like what the hell i did not know this maybe i should not have started this because if i like it you know like oh my god i don't want my eyebrows to be falling out but she did say that um she kind of like turns people away if they want to get it done before like the six week mark just to make sure that people are like waiting that six to eight weeks to get it redone so that like their brows you know don't break so that's also a good thing to note for example if i'm going on vacation and i want to get it done right before vacation i'll try to like plan it out so that it like lands right before you know if that makes sense but anyways we're gonna go to the domain today and i'm gonna get my ears pierced at studs um i'm gonna pick out like i think one more earring from their like fashion line just to put in my second hole because i don't really have like anything small and i kind of want like a another little small hoop these are from goriana and they're just my everyday earrings and then i have my goriana necklace i still have not decided what i'm gonna get so it'll be a surprise for all of us and you already know what time it is it's candle smelling time look at all these beautiful volcano candles that is the first volcano candle i ever got in that like color i remember it very clearly because i literally saved the case for like so many years that smells good that's a pretty one. Oh. <laughs> just out of curiosity we're gonna check how big or how much this candle costs oh Honestly, wait, what? 178. I literally thought it was gonna be so much more than that. What? Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like 300 at least. We're in H&M right now and we are in a debate because everything I freaking point to, he's like, that's ugly. And then everything he points to, I don't like. Okay, people comment down below. Please tell him. Tell me 
I have basic style. I don't, I don't think I would say bad you style. Nice. Thank you. But it's also very basic. But you are very... You like, like you pick a lot of like, like random oh, yeah. things that I I couldn't like also no, you don't you don't understand my body type I don't think I do you just don't experiment <sighs> yeah I really don't <laughs> but he's like pointing out like random orange colors I'm like boy I don't wear that shit all okay, right so we're at studs my appointments in literally two minutes and I'm still between a tragus and a third piercing and I'm kind of like leaning towards the third piercing because Ryan brought up a good point I'll never be able to like plug my ears like this and not that I do that very often but you know I feel like that's gonna be an issue down the road so I think I'm leaning towards the third one and I want to get like new jewelry for this second hole like a little small hoop and just have like hoops down the whole earring I think or whole ear I think that would be really pretty so all right let's go All right, I just got my piercing. I got a little cactus. It's so cute back here too. Did I do good? <laughs> I cussed like so much. The needle really hurt, but honestly it was kind of better because you didn't hear like a gun going through your ear. Need to put some lipstick on, but I'm about to head to dinner with one of my friends, Maddie. We're gonna go to Julia Italian Kitchen. We we're just craving some comfort food, some pasta. They have this like really good mushroom pasta and they have rose, so you know, nothing can beat that. I wanted to show you guys my outfit. As Ryan would say, it is hot outside, but it's probably like 60 degrees and it's freezing. So I got out my winter coat. The room is a mess. Like always, I really need to figure this shit out. I need to like really go through the linen closet and just organize it's been on my like to-do list for so long but anyways we got this long sleeve top from princess polly it has one of these like ruching things um one of my favorite jeans right now is silver like jeans company honestly i haven't heard of them until they reached out to me and they are one of the most comfortable jeans i own so like stretchy and just like really freaking comfortable so highly recommend you can buy them from nordstrom and they're so freaking flattering um, and then this coat is from Express. I got it last year and I will try to link it down below. I'm not sure if it's still there, but if it's not, I'm going to look for some similar ones. And then these shoes are Dolce Vita. I don't think they're actually released yet. They sent them to me. I asked them like, where are they on their site? Cause I was going to link them on like to know it. And then they said they were releasing them later this month, I believe. So once I see them on the site, I will definitely link them for you guys. They're so cute. They're mules we love a good mule like i said my lips need color so i'm gonna put some lipstick on and head out the door also you see that that's my pre-sale black friday cyber monday set active package so maybe i'll do like a little unboxing tomorrow if i remember <laughs> if not it'll be in the week in my life vlog but i just saw that they were releasing new colors for their black friday sale so i don't even know if the sale is going to get even better but Honestly, I'm probably gonna buy even more stuff just because this is like the one time a year I buy from Set Active because it's like so discounted. I'm with Maddie and we are at Juliet Kitchen and I like did not know which wine to get so she brought me tasters. I think I like the red wine which is weird for me because I never like red wine but I feel like this is like too summery so we decided that the red would be better for the pasta. I got the mushroom fungi or fettuccine fungi I think that's what it's called and then she got the pasta olive vodka spicy thingy. <laughs> Something like that. Good morning it is Sunday drinking some liquid IV. I love the tangerine flavor for some reason I like started drinking it during my surgery and now i just love to drink it like first of all it makes me feel good and second of all it kind of like tastes like a sweet and salty drink and it's yummy i don't know anyways i kind of just wanted to like soothe my throat um because today is the day i'm going live on amazon i'm really excited i've been wanting to do this for so freaking long here's the setup we got like all my products over there um, and I freaking cleaned my room for once, so very proud of myself. I just wanted a clean space, even though this doesn't really look clean, but um, this does, because you can't really see much <laughs> in the background. So I'm doing that. I'm just preparing like the live stream platform called OBS. And it's like this platform where you can stream on Amazon. I'm gonna connect my camera with this cord right here 
and then um, the live stream is going to be like my camera quality, which is going to be really cool. So I don't have to like just use my webcam. I think if you were to just live stream like straight through Amazon Live, I don't think you can use an external camera. So that is why I'm using like the platform and also you can kind of plan out your live beforehand and like put pictures in. So I was thinking like I could tell the story about my eyebrows and I put like a picture right after I got them done, which is super unflattering, but I thought it'd be funny to show. If you guys didn't see my Instagram stories about Amazon Live, because I just kind of like posted it yesterday, you are still able to watch it after the fact, so it won't be live anymore, but you know, you can still watch the video and get ideas, and um, there's going to be like a product bar underneath, so you can actually shop what I'm talking about and like add it to your cart or save for later, save it to your list for Christmas, um, so it's going to be really fun. I'm really excited but I'm really freaking nervous because um, I'm gonna do it for like an hour and a half and I feel like I talk pretty fast so I think I might go faster but hopefully not I have 40 products in my product bar and that's like the max you can do so 40 products let's do the math 40 products divided by 90 40 90 divided by 40 <clears throat> so for each product, I should be talking about it around like 2.25 minutes. So, I'm excited. Let's do this and get it over with because I just want to like get my first one done. <clears throat> this is why I was drinking the liquid IV because I feel like my voice is like cracking. I don't know why. My body clock woke me up today at like 6.30 and usually I would just like go back to sleep but I was like, okay, let's get it go so I got up I filmed um, some content for glow recipe because they're coming out with a new product and they sent it over for me to try and film a testimonial um, about what I think of the product so I'm really excited for it to launch because I can't I don't know I can't say anymore I have like literally just three products that I use like in the night and the morning and one of them is a glow recipe um, product it's the plump plump serum so I was really excited when they reached out to me also this is not the last time I'm gonna go on live so if you guys are not already following me on Instagram go ahead and do so because that's the first place I'm gonna post like when I'm gonna go live I'll try to do those like sticker countdown things so you guys can like hit it and like remind yourselves so you don't have to like set a separate reminder it's been like 30 minutes since I ended the live and like holy crap I've never felt well no that's a lie I've definitely felt pooped before but I have not felt pooped like this in so long I literally talked for an hour and a half straight and just like literally was talking so fast and like I don't even know how I did it holy freaking shit that was like so draining to be honest um so I'm just gonna chill I'm chilling on the couch I'm editing some footage, the Glow Recipe footage on my iPhone, um, and I'm going to send over the raw files to them soon. I'm watching Claudia's vlog right now. I'm also starving because I did not eat anything, and I think Ryan's going to pick us up some breakfast tacos. But, oh, and <laughs> TMI literally started my period while I was on the live, so that was great. So I think I'm just like... I don't know. I just need to like chill. I think the Amazon live went really well. It was fun. So definitely go follow my Amazon storefront. I'm going to be doing it again later this month. Probably do maybe a guy's gift guide or just like stocking stuffers. Um, let me know what you guys want to see on the Amazon live and let me know if you guys joined on the Amazon live. I rested and Ryan came home from the driving range and then we decided we should probably go do something and like take advantage of you know, the weekend and just, I don't know, get out of the house. So we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and I just like want flowers, honestly. I don't think there's really much else I need from Trader Joe's. Of course, I'll always like go in their frozen section. Honestly, I need to save some room in my freezer because on Tuesday I'm taking off the day of work to go to this like cool fitness event and then I'm gonna go to Costco to see if there's anything I need to get for my birthday for Saturday. I'm thinking about like meatballs or something. Um, I need to have space in the freezer. So unfortunately I can't be browsing too hard in Trader Joe's. But again, I just kind of wanted flowers. I wanted to get outside. We might bring Sophie, we'll see. Here's the outfit of the day. I just have this dress from, I'm pretty sure it's Chopra dress. I bet it's not on their website anymore because I got it a while ago, but I can check for you guys. And then I have my um, Nike shadows on. I was thinking I could wear this bag with it and cute. 
Before we go to Trader Joe's, we wanted to come to the Mercedes dealership because I, well, we saw like one car yesterday. It was like on the street, right? And you were like, oh, that's like a I really good car. I've been talking about it for a while and she won't listen to me. And I was trying to tell her that Mercedes came out with this affordable SUV. Oh, it's like new now? Yeah, it says like the second year they've ever made. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, he's always pointing out cars to me like on the street and stuff. And this is your dream car has always been a Mercedes yeah. SUV. Okay, so basically, my first car ever was a. Do you Mercedes remember? Mercedes CLK 430. Wow. So it was a convertible. It was my dad's like um, old car. It was a hand me down car. And ever since then, I just like have brand loyalty towards Mercedes. So the next car I get, I want it to be a Mercedes. But this car is a Cadillac, and I love it to death. Like, there's literally nothing wrong with it. Um, just the fact that you know it's getting old. It's a 2012, and it has 98,000 miles. So how That's long? Pretty low for this car. Really? I bet it can go to like 140, 130 if you got. So how many years would that be? How many do you drive in a year? 20,000 a year so probably lower because when I was in college I had to drive back and forth like to yeah. Georgia all the time you know I mean it would, it would last as long as you wanted to but yeah well I, I just got it like fixed up and paid like a good amount to get it fixed up you know so like hopefully I don't have to do that for a while but something this there's nothing that the car did wrong it was you hit something I think in the highway so it's like the car was fine you know <laughs> Okay, well, basically, this car's paid off, so I'm trying to, like, ride it out as long as I can go because, like, you know, if I don't have to have a car payment, why would I? But we just pulled up into the parking lot and, like, this one Mercedes that he was talking about, I was like, that's it. That's, like, my dream car. Like, I love it. He was like, that's the one that we were talking about. And I was like, I just had a feeling, you know? So we're going to go check it out because I haven't seen the inside. But maybe this is a bad thing. Like, maybe I shouldn't get tempted. But also, like, this, like, Ryan and I love to go to Westlake to, like, look at houses to get motivated to, like, work hard throughout the week, you know? And I feel like this could be our new looking at Westlake houses, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I just like, Wait, car, so? I just like cars in general. Like, I just yeah. want, I could, I could have, like, a car collection if I had a bunch of money. I've been thinking about it. I kind of want to buy a car and put it on Turo. Mm hmm. And then just have it pay for itself because I don't like really drive that often. Yeah. But just block it whenever I will need it. Mm. Yeah. So you would keep your car now and get another one, or just I don't know. get that? That's what I'm other saying. One. I don't know because depends how much other one made. I'd probably keep mine now and see how much it made on Turo. Yeah. Because it pays for itself, I, and I don't rent it that much. I wouldn't need one. I just get it right from you. Or you can drive bike. my car. You can be my yeah, chauffeur. Exactly. <laughs> right, Sophie? Yes. We don't we go also, anywhere separately other than like yeah. grocery store or like or like me to shoot yeah, exactly. and you to golf. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also we need to get Sophie a bed because she always just like sits in my lap and she's just like a squirmer and she annoys me. Yeah. What? She wants her, her close-up now. Oh, she wants a close-up. Hi Sophie Girla. Hi. You're very pretty. Yeah, look in the camera though, Sophie. Look in the camera. Very pretty girl. Or angel girl. Okay, let's look at these cars. All right, here it is, y'all. This is the one. And what's the model again? It's a GLB. It's so cute. I love a mom car, and it always has to be white. Good attack inside this huge screen. That's all one screen. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I love all these gadgets. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I almost like these like white tan seats better than my like actual <coughs> brown tan seats. Does that make sense? Yeah. Pretty. This is everything inside here. Well, I not know. the it right. drive itself. But. Okay, so there's the screen. It's like very long. It has back. your speedometer and everything on it. Yeah, that's cool. Here's another one. It's so cute. It's like kind of like lower to the ground than my Cadillac is right now, which I like higher cars, but I also kind of like this. So we went to Trader Joe's and so freaking crazy in there. The lines were so long, but it is a Sunday, so I'm not really sure why it would be any other way, but I got these fig and olive crisps 
for um, charcuterie cups for my birthday party. It's happening this Saturday, which is freaking crazy because I don't feel ready. Like I am not a party planner and this is like the biggest party I have had in like years, probably like since my sweet 16. Cause I didn't really do much for like my 21st cause you know, my friends planned it, but I got these um, green bean casserole bites for um, a friend's giving on Tuesday. Then I got some peppermint cones. I'm so excited that I actually like found these because I wasn't able to get my hands on the pumpkin ones, which like, I think I like pumpkin better than um, peppermint, but whatever. And then always have to stock up on prosciutto when you're at Trader Joe's because it's so affordable and this prosciutto is really, really good. And then I also got some brie cheese and Ryan got, what is this? Dark, oh, dark chocolate covered espresso beans and then some peanut butter cups. We're going to a sushi dinner. I made a reservation at Soto on Friday because I just knew we were gonna like crave sushi. Um, so I thought I would get a little dressed up. This is a dress from Princess Polly that I've never gotten to wear. So I was like, tonight is the night. And I'm wearing some Dolce Vita heels. And I really like this dress. I love how I tied it too. I didn't really like tie it in like a bow, but I just kind of like did a little wrap. It's really cute. And I was gonna put my hair up in a pony, but it was just not the vibe, so. We're just gonna wear our hair down and then have my um, new earrings from Goriana on and then my Goriana necklace, Goriana bracelets, so yeah. <laughs> I have my rugs and blankets spread out to dry, but look at Sophie, she's just ready for us to get the fuck out. Sophie, are you gonna watch some TV and invite your friends over? Mm -hmm. You're so cute. freaking good and we were just like in the best mood because we are planning to go to Italy so we were just like talking about it and kind of like you know talking about where we want to go and what we want to do and it's just really exciting because I think that's going to be like our first like real like international trip together we've been to um Grand Cayman but I don't really count that I mean like a full-on like 14 day 10 day kind of like Europe trip so i'm just really excited um that will probably be happening like next summer sometime um but definitely something to look forward to and also the food was just amazing we were um sat right in front of like the head chef and we've been there multiple times but this time was just like so good i think we just ordered all the right stuff we ended the night with this thing called foie gras and that is like my newest obsession because it is probably so bad for you i can't like, I can't remember what it actually is. I kind of want to like Google it because I know it's like not very healthy at all, but it is the most delicious thing. If you like, like salty and like melt in your mouth, kind of like fat, <laughs> it sounds so weird, but let me try to see what it actually is. All right, so it is made of the liver of duck or goose. Hmm, well. It is delicious. Take my word for it. If you guys really like sushi or just like fat on like a steak in general, like definitely try it. Um, I had it with my dad when I was at the beach and I was like, what is this magical stuff? And I honestly probably shouldn't have just looked it up because that is kind of, you know, disturbing, but it's okay. It's delicious. Um, and I don't know, it was just a really good night. And now we are inspired to work hard and like go into the week and just like kill it. And so we're gonna do like a little bit of work on the couch and watch some Italy vlogs. If you guys know any like good travel vloggers that have done like really cool Italy vlogs or just like honestly informative, cause like I've never really planned anything like this on my own. My dad always used to do like this full itinerary whenever we would go on vacations. And I wanna be like that, but I just don't even know where to start. So luckily we're planning it 
pretty far ahead and we already looked at Airbnbs and they're like insane and their prices are like not even that bad so we're just getting really excited if you guys aren't already following me on instagram go ahead and do so it's so underscore gnarly without the g and i will see y'all in my next video bye